All right, I'm feeling nice today. I don't normally do this, but it'll be a one-time thing. States, 1127, Zahn. Hey, Flats, feel free to roast my gameplay over an open fire, but I'll take some tips too if you've got them because I would like to get better. My channel amazes content. Oh, that's like, I feel bad because like those are like kind of nice messages, you know? They're like kind of like, you know, like they're like, oh, like, you know, I still like kind of want this secret thing, you know? Let's get a skin check to start us off. Definitely one of the better Zarya skins, but a uh, hot take, I don't really think Zarya has any good skins. I just don't really like any of her skins. Like, none of them are like, oh, this is S tier. Like, I've just kind of... When Overwatch 1 has killed Flats on the inside so much, he starts getting nicer and is spectating. Okay, man. Hey, chill pipe. Hey, okay, there you go. I've been paying attention ahead of time, but that's a little better. We need some right clicks. Some right clicks early. Some right clicks. Some right clicks. You gotta be doing these right clicks. Hello? Hey, chill. You have buttons, right? Okay, there you go. Yo, chill. Alright, listen. Okay. I'm in the given spirits. I feel like being a little bit nicer today for this, okay? Because the last one. Oh, yeah. For basically a newsflash, there was one that came before those. It was Whips. The. Not like. Not Tim's Whips. It was the, the guy before it was named Whips. Fake Whips. Guy was a piece of shit terrible at the game. I've kind of already used up all my my mean energy for the day, so I'll make this one a little bit nicer, okay? Because I, I don't have it in me anymore. The key to playing Zarya is, and I'm sorry, the key to playing Overwatch is you gotta, <laughs> oh no, it was whiffs just for Tom the Tattoo Guy. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. Uh, listen, the way to play Overwatch is you gotta be doing something all the time. If you're basically walking around like doing nothing in the middle of a fight, you, you, you're, you fuck, you're fucking up, so... Listen, like the second you turn this first corner, like way back here, right here, like just start right clicking. Just like aim up and start right clicking. Like they're gonna come from the right side over here, right? They're gonna go down the bottom right to that right side corner. Start right clicking, start right clicking. Start doing damage, start doing damage. Don't focus on bubbling. You're focusing on too many things at once. You're trying to, or sorry, wrong thing. You're not trying to focus on everything at once. You're only trying to want to focus on one thing at a time. You need a multitask. Go, 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 go. Shield, shoot, left click, right click, bubble. Do everything at once. Start doing things. You're either bubbling or you're right clicking or you're thinking about what to do next. It's too slow. You gotta go faster. 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 I'm not saying hit every button on your keyboard at the same time. What I'm saying is like you have to be constantly trying to do everything that you can do. You kind of got smoked. I think you're gonna lose that fight anyways because you use your your cooldowns too early. But at the same time, you're not fighting for ult charge. You're not fighting. You're not fighting constantly. So do that faster. Right click faster. Look for charge, and then when you have charge, if you have self bubble, right? When you have self bubble, then you can play aggressive. You can go in, go look for kills, and then bubble your way out and survive and, survive and keep yourself up. If you're using self bubble first to then walk in. That's very dangerous against something like a hog. You gotta think about what can fuck me versus also what you can do to fuck them. You're taking a lot of damage because there's a fair up top. Try to avoid the Pharah Rockets while you're still fighting. You're backing away from the fight instead of walking into the fight. Keep fucking doing damage. Keep walking in. Keep going left click, right click, left click, right click, left clicks. Good. Beautiful. There's a Mercy that's rezzing. Look at the Mercy rezzing. Did look at the Mercy rezzing. There's someone that got rezzed in your backline. Turn around for them. Because they're going to hook someone and kill them. And they did. And they just killed them. You need to be constantly keeping an awareness of what's happening in these fights. Keep right clicking. You have full charge. Keep going. Don't stop. You actually probably could have killed them more if you had right clicked, then started left clicking. Don't stop. Start left clicking this this hog. If I just saw that right, I think you were waiting to bubble him and you didn't left click. Yes, you're not left. You were not left clicking. Left clicking. You were bubbling. Like you can do both at the same time. Left click. Go. You have grab. Momentum grab. You got at least one. Okay. I like the I like the effort at least. Keep going. Don't stop. That's a good right click. Use your self bubble before the hook comes out. You gotta react to it ahead of time. Keep going in. Keep playing aggressive. Right click this soldier. Right click this mercy. Okay. F fair enough. Fair enough. That is the key to playing Overwatch. At any level, is you have to be constantly trying to do shit. Even mechanically, you're not like mechanically is fine, but you can tell you're ten steps behind. Also, I know how I said in the last one that these aren't supposed to be educational. This one's I guess a little bit more because I've already used up all my fucking my fuck you energy. So. You use self bubble really, really early. You didn't need to use it that early. Focusing the running is good, but there's a hog running it down on you. Good. Everybody focuses the hog. You kill them. It's a lot of dam. It's a lot of damage to kill the hog. Maybe you might be better to, to swap to the mercy or the Moira if she gets too close. Good bubble. Probably would have bubbled the Pharah, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. 
keep going. You see a soldier. You see a soldier. Don't worry about bubbling. Work on killing the soldier. Right click at him. Left click at him. There you go. With the speed. Like I said, I've said before, the key to playing Overwatch good. Listen, the difference between a GM player and a bronze player, fundamentally, there's a lot of things that are the same. Like we both played it to, to protect your supports, to play aggressive, hold space, do damage. Sure, those are all the same. But the speed at which they has happened is one of the biggest differences. The reason bronze looks so bad is because it takes 10, 15 seconds for something to happen. In GM, it takes half a second. All of the ranks scale that way. Think about it that way. It takes too long for things to develop. You use self bubble really, really early. Now you're in trouble. Luckily, they didn't focus you. You're looking too hard to help your hog. Your hog was feeding. That's not your problem. Work on keeping yourself alive. You almost have grab. You're panicking. You're panicking. You're panicking. You're panicking. You solo grab the hog, but you're panicking. You're not going to get any value out of it. You're not doing anything in these mid fights. You actually go AFK for about nine seconds. I will show you from where, what point you go AFK. You ready? Here it is. You get in trouble. You get scared. Here. You, you literally go AFK. You watch your ult meter. 92. You go AFK for the next 10 seconds. You hit one right click, which was good. You're looking to bubble somebody. You don't know what to do. You're AFK right now. You self-bubble yourself. You hit a, a right on the... Uh, just flying by by chance. Actual chance. And you waste the grab because you're trying to figure out what to do. You're panicking. You're not confident. Be a f***ing Chad. Be confident in what you're doing. No matter what you're doing in life, be confident with it. Because a lot of people think that confidence is something that just, like, you know, you have to instill in yourself in something. A lot of confidence in the beginning is faking it. You have to fake it to make it sometimes. Sometimes if you're new to something, you're not that good at it. Pretend that you're good at it. I mean, don't, like, ego people that are actually good at it to, you know, try to, like, learn from them. But if you're trying to, like, you know, sell yourself and trying to be better at something, you know, and it's, like, your first time, there's no problem with being like, hey, you know? I know what I'm doing. I'm confident in my own abilities. You know what I mean? And going from there. And you guys see nothing because no one is paying attention to the top. Before before anyone can teach you anything, like seriously, you're gonna go watch a car key video of like, oh, like, you know, 25 tips for Zarya and like, you can bubble this person and right click this person or whatever. Before anyone can teach you shit. If you aren't confident in making decisions, no one can teach you anything. Because you'll never make those decisions correctly. Because you have to be able to at least confidently make a decision before you make the right decision. You also use both your bubbles for no charge because you're panicked on taking damage. You're playing Zarya, you're playing a tank. Yes, it's one of the less damaged tanks, but it's not like Reinhardt. It's much more about kind of existing and waiting to build up charge. And people pressuring you, not pre-bubbling. And you pre-bubbled twice now. That's why you have no energy. That's why you can't help anybody. You see, you're going to have to look to bubble somebody that gets hooked by the hog again. Probably your own hog. You actually bubble them early because you're still looking for energy. You get self-hooked. And actually, you have bubble up, which is lucky, but I don't know if you land to have bubble up in time but you're panicking again you're not looking for kills you're panicking you're literally freaking out you're like i need to get back to my team i need to get back i need to get back like the second this happens right you ready here it is the second this happens boom you're in uh, you're like dude we're going for kills you look for the moira good she fades away guess what though you give up you start panicking you, instead of going towards the middle and looking for somebody else and looking to fight the fair and looking to fuck somebody up with 90 charge you leave you run away. You're scared. You are, you, you're trying to conform to the, the traditions of Overwatch and playing with your team and playing with everybody. And, you know, I must group up and I must play with my teammates. It's the same reason why 5v5 is better for Overwatch than 6v6. Because there's this magic land that everyone's trying to play in and, like, you know, play properly and position with your teammates and, you know, be a good teammate. And, you know, everyone sings Kumbaya and works together. It doesn't work that way. It's almost impossible, you know? It's almost impossible to do that. It doesn't work. Wait, this is harsh? Wait, you think this is harsh? This is this is light as shit. I am basically holding your hand like a toddler. This is how you improve. This is how you look at yourself in life, and you look at it and go, that's what I do to get better. That's not harsh. If you don't correct people's behavior, the same thing with, like, a puppy. If you, if you, just, if you give the puppy a treat every time he shits on your floor, it doesn't correct the behavior, right? I'm no dog trainer. If I was going to get my dog trained, I would take it to a professional trainer. But I also understand that I, you don't reward people for bad behavior or reward things that don't work. You correct them. So do you swap? Do you start do you start playing more aggressive and more with confidence now you're on a different hero? I wonder. Nope, I got my answer. The answer is no. You're 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 trying to figure out what your team wants to do. You're not leading, you're following. When you play Ryan, when you play tanks, when you play main tank, you are the leader, you're not the follower. 
you can still look to people for inspiration. You can look for people for advice and for ideas, but you are the, you are the leader. Oh, look at that reaction time. Mechanically, you, you have got everything good. Mechanically, you are far and above your rank. Mechanically, you are far and above your rank. See, that's what... Hey. That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. It shouldn't take the ability of charge ability that you cannot cancel. Like you, like it shouldn't take the ability that you hit and then you go, oh shit, I, mean, I shouldn't have done that, you know? Like if charge cancel exists, would you have canceled it right away? I don't know. In a, some worlds, maybe. You pin him? You know what? I don't think you. It's hard to tell, tell what his HP was. It's fine. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to hype you up too hard here. But you can tell your mechanics are far above 1,200. Like, I, I see plat players that miss that fire strike. For the outside, you look at it and go, oh, that was so easy, though. But it's like, they were transitioning from a shield hop to a fire strike. There's a lot of people that will miss that. 110%, especially tank players in Overwatch, are not as mechanically skilled as something like DPS in a lot of ways. Not because they aren't actually, but because they don't have to practice it that often. Until you get to, like, the highest level. So, uh, yeah. I I I I think your biggest problem right now is confidence by far. Good. Good. This is all good. Ryan just pinned underneath you. What's your move? What's your move? You don't make one. You're you're trying to pocket pocket your bash and ulting. This is not the play. Go make a play. I would have pinned after the Ryan that pinned. Free pin. I mean this is better, but your whole team's kinda working together now. But like the biggest thing right now is like you're not leading like everyone's just kind of like walking around and looking around and yeah right now there's nothing for you to do I'll, I'll be honest but before that there was you can tell like the mechanics are far and above this rank far and above this rank like at least on Ryan but like on Zarya definitely not Ooh, missed the counter pin but it happens it happens. Also, is that a damage boosted coalescence? I've seen everything. Is that. Did your hog just get both of them? Oh my god, your hog is a chat. I actually just whole hogged both their supports off the map. That's hilarious. <sighs> actually, kind of hilarious. Not gonna lie. But, uh. I think this is where you're gonna struggle. I think this is where you're gonna struggle again, because you need to be able to lead. You keep looking behind you like, what are my teammates doing? You don't have to be worried about them coming out of spawn. They follow you. Oh, your hog gets another big, big hook though. I'm not gonna lie, your hog is actually making big plays. See, you're kind of waiting. You're waiting for your teammates right now, trying to figure out what to do when they were like very, very exposed. You know, maybe like a seven-second difference between when you could have gone in and not and, instead of waiting. The decisions, the speed, the confidence, the making the right decisions, how fast you go for them, all matter. Which, by the way, where was their ride in the beginning of that? Did anyone notice? Their ride was not with them. You do your lead as ride and your team doesn't follow your lead. If your team refuses to follow your lead, sometimes it's a go next, man. It's just that easy. Like, I'm serious. Like, like don't treat every game like, oh, no one's listening to me, go next. Sometimes you're making the wrong decisions. But if you're very confident you're making the right decisions and people are not working together and they're not making an attempt, sometimes you just lose those games, man. It happens. Not every game is winnable. You always should try to fight to win, and you should always should fight to win. And every fight should be fought to win with the mentality that it is winnable. But don't feel bad about losing a game, because sometimes it wasn't. Okay, this is kind of what I meant by, like, no confidence, is because, like, you're getting super lost on who to chase. And you take so long to decide to finally chase the Moira that she's now faded away from you three times. When your hog hooks her, she would have done, and she's dead, but... If she did not get hooked, I think she would have survived the fourth time. By the way, that Mercy's gonna go for the water. I'd look for that. I don't think she made it, actually. I think she flew over there and then didn't make it. But overall, I mean, it's a good sequence. It's a lot better. You can tell you're much more confident on Ryan than Zarya, but it's still not there. It's still definitely not there. You're 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 very much reliant on what your team is doing and trying to play perfect Overwatch. That's not how it works. These counter pins. Alright. I ain't gonna make an excuse for you. What the f was that? You just saw the fing 
F24F bus coming from downtown. And just were like, yep. Leading that. I know you went for fire strike, but like you gotta you gotta make it you gotta make an effort there. You gotta make some type of an effort. Also, you're getting spawn trap right now, and instead of trying to fight the spawn trap, you're hiding. Like, this is what I mean about confidence. Ready? Look at what they do. And they're gonna go too far and they're gonna feed. I don't know if they'll get capitalized on. But this is the difference between leading and following. Ready? Did you hear it? They're trying to have their team wait and regroup and rally. You're, they are in your fucking spawn. You know what happens when a team pushes your spawn? Unless they have really tight positioning on your spawn, you trickle out and you get for kills because your respawn times are so fast it's worth fighting. You have a Moira, a Hog, and a Ryan, and they are feeding. Like the second this happens, I'm going, I'm going balls to the wall. I'm literally going Mach 10, and I want to see you go Mach 10. Pin, pin, pin something. Fine. But this is kind of like, okay, I, I love him, so I'll like, I hopefully he doesn't get too upset. But this is Emong Ryan. Like, like the difference between this Reinhardt and like what I'm trying to teach you is the difference between my Reinhardt and Emong Reinhardt. Emong Reinhardt is serviceable. It works well with the team, but if you have him go up against somebody that knows what they're fucking doing, it falls apart. It's serviceable. It's working with your team. It's understanding the mechanics. It's trying to, you know, you're trying to do the right things. That's not how the hero is played. Also, swing. Swing. You're trying to shield up. Listen, you're trying to shield your Mercy who's running away from you. They're dead. Swing. Go. You, you, you go that. They dead. I'm going for the W. Kill him. Now what's your next move? You go up there and start fighting them? No, you're gonna sit on point. You're gonna look at your teammates. Your team's not following you. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, confidence. Ditched out. Now granted, I know those are Ryan behind, but this is what I mean by way too much working with your teammates. It was a 5v1 for their Ryan. Your team would've killed them. You just, you just helped it a little bit faster. I think that you would have went top and just started slaying. That's at least what I would do. That's what I would do. I'm always looking to go get, take the next fight. Go be aggressive. Also, that's just the most annoying thing ever. I feel bad for you. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is about kind of what I thought was going to happen in this fight. <laughs> Without, like... You know, without like going and taking an initiative and going after something, you get lost and you end up chasing a warrior in your back lane who's getting pocketed for four swings and got, get no kills. You know what I mean? There's a difference between serviceable and leading. Serviceable and leading. A lot of confidence. Sometimes that is, that's really what it is in gaming a lot of time, you know? Like I realized I was really bad at Valorant and the way I got better at Valorant very quickly was I just started making dumb decisions, but confidently. I ended up getting way more kills and way more wins. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey. Wait, touch. Wait, touch. 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 Victory. This is why you need a lead. Is if you follow the crowd of Papegas, then you end up looking like one of the Papegas. If you follow Papegas, you look like a Papega. If you lead the Papegas, you can at least lead them to the promised land where they can feed as smart. At least they feel better about themselves, Papegas. Okay. Lead the Papegas. Lead the Papegas. That, that, by the way, that last play was the best. Was the best play you made all day. This one right here. This is the best play you made all day. Why? You just did it confidently. And you said, fuck it, we're gonna go for the W. That was the best play you made all day. Unfortunately, it was the wrong timing, and you'd have no one to touch, and no one's probably communicating the touch. And You win that fight, 100%. That fight's yours. You win the game, I promise. You would've won the game on that, but... Timing is too late.